Today, we will be showcasing five gruesome facts about the Night Stalker Richard Ramirez. He now has a true crime series on Netflix. Night Stalker Search for a Serial Killer Subscribe to the channel for new videos on serial killers every week. Fact 1. His Bloody Murders You probably know how vicious his crimes were, but the true crime series on Netflix delves deeply into how bloody and gory they really were. He had a pattern. He killed the man in the house and sexually assaulted a woman and always made sure he could see the fear in his victim's eyes. In the early days of his crimes, he knocked on the car hood of Mariah Hearn and as so she would see him before the attack, and he yanked Sileon Veronica U out of her car as opposed to shooting her through the window. In Whittier, he cut out Max scenes at Sarah's eyes and took them with him. Investigators identified him as an enraged killer because of how viciously his victims had been killed. In one case, the victim, Patty Higgins, was slashed and stabbed in the throat. Another victim, Florence Nettie Lang, 81, was beaten to death with a hammer. Fact 2 Assaults of Children Unfortunately, Ramirez didn't spare children. Earlier on in his killing spree, there were a series of young children being taken from their beds, assaulted, and then abandoned. One of the six-year-old survivors would be crucial in identifying Ramirez later on. In some cases, he would sexually assault a kid he came across in the house during a burglary. Fact 3 Satanic Symbols It wasn't until Ramirez left a pentagram, written with lipstick on the wall and on the leg of a victim, that investigators drew the connection to satanic worship. They were also concerned he was a copycat of Charles Manson. In the following years, he would leave more of these pentagrams behind and would also tell his victims to swear to Satan instead of God. During a court appearance, he held up the pentagram and after pleading not guilty, he said, Hail Satan. Fact for his childhood, the documentary series also delves into Ramirez's past and the horrible trauma Ramirez had to face as a child. His dad treated him poorly. He would tie him to a cross in a graveyard overnight as a form of punishment. His cousin killed his wife right in front of him when he was 13 years old. Later, in an interview from jail, he posed the question of whether serial killers are born or bred. Fact 5 His Heroes When Ramirez was finally apprehended, he called Salerno Mr. Salerno as a sign of respect, but he also looked up to the hillside strangler a serial killer Salerno had previously apprehended. He was a student, Salerno said in the documentary. To persuade him to talk, they put him in the same cell as the hillside strangler, and he got excited. He later asked Salerno and Carrillo they would be attending his execution. If there was something we missed, let us know in the comments. If you are interested in making videos like this, check the links in the description.